Hey, um, I've seen a few of these mining videos already uploaded, but I'm going to just wing this one with my own personal experience. Uh, this is also a good way for me to practice since uh, this is my first video on this channel. So um, to get the most out of this, you want to be AR25 because this lets you unlock your reputations. But uh, no big deal if you're not, you'll just end up with a, a bit less crystal chunks at the end of all this. So before we start, uh, you want to unlock level 2 on both your Mondstadt and Li Yue reputations. Um, because this unlocks your magic crystal chunks, which also adds a few regular crystal chunks to your world. So uh, to unlock the Mondstadt one, right, you need to have completed the Archon quest prologue. Um, specifically, um, this one here, um, this one, the Outlander who caught the wind. And then to unlock the Li Yue one, you need to, uh, do this one. Chapter one, act two, farewell, archaic Lord. All right. So once you have, um, these two things completed, uh, what you want to do is you want to go to Mondstadt. Okay, and once you're here, you want to walk down this way and talk to this lady. And then um, you'll be able to view your reputations. So what you want to do is you want to unlock level 2 because this unlocks uh, the Mondstadt Mining Outcrop search. And what this does is, like I said, it puts, um, it puts magic crystals in your world. It also... Uh, allows you to da, 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 it allows you to talk to your blacksmith uh i'll show you right now actually what that does uh da, 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 da. all right it allows you to talk to your blacksmith and then you can ask them to uh show you some some spots on the map like so so he marks a few like here's one here's one and here's one all right, he only shows a few of them. He doesn't show all of them. And then, uh, same thing for Li Yue. You go over to Li Yue. Go to uh, this teleporter right here. I hate saying Li Yue. It's um, a tongue twister for me, apparently. Okay. So you'll run over here. You'll talk to this girl here. And then you'll want to unlock level 2 for this one because it does the same thing. You unlock the Li Yue Mining Outcrop Search. And then once you do that, um, you guessed it. You'll go talk to the blacksmith over here. You don't have to do this. I'm just uh, demonstrating. And you'll ask about Li Yue Mining Products. And he'll talk for a bit, he'll talk for a bit, he'll talk for a bit. And then he'll pop up a few locations. So here's one, here's one, here's one, here's one. Uh right. Okay. So um you know, the, the other benefit of this is that uh once you mine all your crystals, there's a 72 hour respawn time. Um, but by unlocking these two uh, reputations, you're able to do daily crystals uh through the blacksmith. And there's a few there's a few other spots too but i'm not really going to go into them uh okay so with all that out of the way let's get into the actual route i like i personally really yeah english i personally like to start at stormbearer point so we're going to go there first uh, of course you want to bring a claymore user or uh mr zong Okay, so as you can see, there's two blue crystals here. That means that this was one of my daily spots. So we're just gonna hit them. Oh, I started off with 711 crystals. All right, and after that, we're gonna go back to this teleporter. And we're gonna run this way. Huh. 
and there's a crystal chunk here. After that, we're going to head over to Stormbear Mountain, this teleporter here. And we're going to run over this way. Another daily spot. Okay, so normally it's not this much of a pain to loot, but because of the lantern event right now, uh, is dropping all of these, um, shards. So, uh, you gotta, you know, F a little bit more, but yeah. All right. After you loot this spot, you'll, uh, teleport back here. And then you'll run to the opposite direction over here. Alright, after that, you'll head down to uh, this domain right here, right below Thousand Wind Temple, Temple of the Wolf. Da -da -da. And of course, this is more fun with friends or, you know, listen to music or something while you do it. Uh, it's a little bit quicker too and kind of gets your mind off of it because uh, it does get a little bit tedious sometimes. But uh, it needs to be done, you know? It's pretty important. Oh my god. You run over this way. You'll drop down. Oh, am I gonna die? Oh, I'm good. Look, another daily spot. You'll mind these. Also, a, a trick to looting faster is when you when you press F, you want to scroll wheel up and down. Uh, it helps. Kind of like an animation cancel in a way for looting. All right, after that, you want to go down to Dragon Spine's entrance right here. And you'll run this way towards the water on the map, a little strip of water. You'll just jump off and the crystal's right there. Oh. After that, you'll head over to uh, this domain, Valley of Remembrance. Turn to the left and run this way. So you see I'm looting pretty fast there because I'm scroll wheeling. This guy's just gonna go there. After that, you want to go to this statue of the seven. Like I want to slow down, but um, I don't want this to be longer than it has to be because this video is going to be pretty freaking long. And of course, with all the talking, and once you memorize this route, you'll do it so much quicker. It'll just be like, you'll just, your mind will just go on autopilot and you'll just, yeah. Another daily spot. Nice. All right, and then you'll run this way. So all the clovers you see on the map are the da the daily mining spots. Um, there's a reason I don't use the mining pickaxe for these. Um, yeah, but I don't really want to go into that. All right, one crystal here. And then you'll walk over to this one. Some people teleport to this teleporter, but I think like the time it takes you to teleport there and load and all that stuff, 
that you can literally just walk. So that's what I'm doing. You'll climb up this way, right? You'll climb up this way. And then there's two right here. And then you'll walk over here. I'll wait for my stamina. Climb up here. Then you'll walk this way towards the wolf boss. Uh, why stamina thing? I wonder, should I just like fast forward through all this and then talk over the video or should I just upload this like un, un uh, yeah, bleh, uncropped and stuff? Uh, there should be one around here somewhere right here. Okay. After this, I teleport to the portal like right above Wolven Dorm, uh, Wolven Dome. And it's right here. Oh, another daily spot. Nice. And then you'll run this way. Stamina, please. There will be a single crystal here. And you'll climb up this way and run over here. And there's a single crystal here. After that, open up your map and teleport to this teleport point here. And there should be a spot right there. After this, I go to this teleporter here, right below the wolf. And like I said, this, I don't know if this is the most efficient route. It feels like the most efficient for me personally. But like I said, um, I haven't really watched everyone else's video on this route. Uh, I kind of just like came up with this um, by using the interactive map. And figured I'll just uh, make a video about it. So yeah, some other people might have like, oh, you know, you can teleport here, drop down here for, you know, quicker access. But this is just my personal route. It works for me, so. Right, after this, you'll head over to Storm Terrace Lair. And personally, this is like the worst spot. I, I hate doing Storm Terrace Lair. But usually after doing this area, everything just goes by really fast. So, uh, yeah, just tough it out. Climb up this pillar. Oh, do I have enough stamina? I should. Alright. There's a crystal over here. And then you'll run over this way. Alright. Then you'll run over this way. There's one right below. And then you'll run over to this cliff and jump down. And there's one over there. And you'll want to climb up this wall. And head towards that air current right there. W key over there. Wait for stamina because that's a thing. And there's one right here. Then you'll want to run towards this little uh, pillar 
there's one right there. And you want to run this way towards this edge. Just jump down. Jump down. There's one right here. All right. You know, some people like to get that one over there first, but I like to just climb up here. Maybe it's not the most efficient. Oops. But uh, this is what I do. Come up here and get these two. Then I jump down and go to this cave. And even, even if I'm doing it the most like inefficient way, it's probably only a few seconds, you know, it's not cutting off like 20 minutes or anything. So, uh, yeah, that's why I don't bother looking at like the most optimal like ways to get to points. I just kind of go off of, you know, how I usually do it. And then there's one over here. After that, you'll want to turn to this wall right here, right between the two trees. Just climb up. From the very few videos I've seen of people doing this, some people don't go to this location. But uh, there's actually two crystals back here. So we're going to hit those. Sorry guys, this may not be the shortest video of like all the mining videos. I've seen some cut it to like 15 minutes, 20 minutes. Like they speed it up, but I'm I'm literally just recording it and uploading it. So uh, you're going to get a pretty detailed video. So there's one right here. And then if you go to the other side, there's another one over there. Okay. After this, you can teleport to this portal right here. And you'll run this way. And there's one right there. All right, after this, you'll run towards the center. So we've done all the ones on the edge of Storm Terror's Lair. And now we're going to do all the ones in the center, which is probably the most annoying ones. So bear with me while I walk all the way over here. Bear with me. And then you'll see one right there. So now you kind of have an option. You can kind of go this way and start working your way around this wall. But I usually go around this way. No real reason. It's just what I've always done. So that's just what I continue to do. The other way, maybe a, a few seconds faster, maybe like two or three seconds faster. But uh, I don't, I don't care. All right. Then you walk after that, you walk down into this trench. And there should be one right here. I always grab the crystal flies. All right. I grab this one. Then you'll take this air current. Um, a little higher, please. Come on. All right. Take this wind current, right? It's just over here. And there's one right there. Then you just hug the wall, hug the wall, run over here. There should be one somewhere over here. Yeah, it's like right over here. 
All right. Then you keep scaling the wall, scale the wall. Jump up on this rock here. This one right here. Jump down. There's one right here. You can, all use, you can also use Razor for this, but my Razor is level 1. Oh, stamina. And uh, his little uh, electric skill also breaks the rocks. Kind of like Zhongli's, but it's a smaller range. Take this wind current. Well, okay. You need it to take you up to like the really top. So just wait for it. Get to the max height and then glide. Very important because you don't, you don't want to miss this cliff or else you got to walk all the way around. Jump up here. There should be one to the right. Right here. All right. And then you'll jump over this way. And get this one. This is the last one here. All right. After you're done with that, you're done with Mondstadt. That's literally every Mondstadt location. And then I personally like to start down here in Guyan Stone Forest and work my way up. So that's what I'll do. So after you get to this teleporter, it's right over here. To the left of it. All right. After that, you'll teleport to this domain right here, right below. Also a really good crystal fly spot. You know, there's a few here. I usually farm these daily. You'll walk out this way. There's also a few more crystal flies over there to the left, but I'm not going to bother for the sake of this video. Okay, and you hit this one here. There's some on the other side too, so don't miss those. Then you'll run yourself this way. Also a good place to farm crabs too while you're at it. So, uh, yeah, a lot of things you could do while you mine. Get other things, crab. Two crystals right here. Crystal right here. Then you'll want to swim across here. If you have a Mona, that's pretty helpful. I do have Mona, but yeah, I don't want to take her out right now. But she could help you get across this pretty quickly. All right. Watch out for a uh, spinny boy over here, Mr. Sonic. a bunch of crystals around here. Alright, and after you're done with that, you'll open your map and go all the way to the bottom left. To this portal. You'll fly over here. To this temple looking area. Slide on over and squeeze your way through here. And there's some in here. After you're done here, you open your map again, go back to the same portal.
and you're gonna run over here you can kind of see it on my map that little clover it's it's in that underpass where the uh pyro Fatui agent is so uh watch out for him too Ba -ba -ba, head over here. Yeah. I farm these crystals here. Can you bond then you get out of here and you go to this portal here. And then just run straight and jump off this cliff. There's going to be an abyss mage in here, so you can look out for him as well. So waterfall, fall down, go to the left. And there's more crystals. Ooh, buddy, I'm just trying to farm. And then get this one on the outside and some people like to teleport up and jump down but i just walk over to the next location i think it's faster or roughly the same amount of time so but you'll run around here with this little cave also a very good geo fly spot a lot of them here i farm this daily as well and you'll just jump down. There's an abyss mage here too. But here, crystals on the left side. And then there's going to be crystals on... Yeah, this guy's annoying. On the right side. After that, I teleport to this one to the top left. Right here. And I work my way over. Quite a few here. After that, you'll head over to Mount Tianghang. Right here on this side. I probably butchered that, but whatever. You get the point. This is usually a really hot spot as well. Then you'll run to the opposite side. And then like right above to the left, like behind, like if you go up here, you know what? I'll just show you. I'll just show y'all. Uh, don't roll down. Okay. Okay, if you climb up here, right? This, is just, this has nothing to do with mining. I'm just showing y'all. If you climb up here, you see that little opening right there? If you jump in there, there's a lot of crystal flies in there too. So after this, I like to go straight up to this portal right here. And then you'll just run straight. Light over here. And there's like a little crack right there. You see it with the ladder? That's where you're going. A bunch of geo slimes in here too. So uh, look out for those. We'll break those. Oh, please. No. Hit hit the crystal. Yeah, hit the crystal. Alright. Then after this, I want to go to the Statue of the Seven to the left. Good opportunity to heal up as well. Alright. Then we'll run this way. A 
bunch of archers here, so watch out. And Geo, Geo Slimes. Gonna break these. This is also a really huge spot, so I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't miss this one. If uh, you can help it. Some people don't like to deal with the slimes, because uh, they are pretty annoying. But uh, this is a really big spot, so I recommend getting it. Then you run out and just glide across. Okay. Maybe I'll play some music behind, you know, while I'm editing. So it's just not me talking in absolute silence. Okay, after this, you want to go up to Tiangqiu Valley? Tiangqiu, Tiangqiu, however you want to say it. And then you want to run this way. Damn, I'm already looking at the recording timer. It's already 31 minutes in. This is a long one. Watch out for big boy here. There's a crystal right there, right on the edge of this red zone. You want to turn and just jump over here. Jump and glide over here. Build up some stamina because you're going to need it to swim across. Again, might not be the most optimal way of uh, traveling, but uh, yeah, this is my way, so. I'm probably going to be saying that a lot throughout the video. Just trying to remind myself, 711 is what I had. Alright, then I go back to this portal right here. Same portal. And I turn and I run this way. Towards the Electro Sison Mage. Well, maybe not just maybe not towards her, but like in this general direction. And I climb up here. There's some right here, and there's a puzzle here too. If you've never done it, there's usually like a big rock thing that covers this, so you can break it. Oops. Nope. Don't need the map. After this, you climb back up. And run this way. Huh. Over this cliff. And it should be right here. Alright. Now. Open the map. Go to the teleporter next to the Pyro Regis Vine. You want to turn around and go towards these pillars right there, that glowing pillar. There's one stashed away right here. And I run down this way. There's one over to the left, which we'll get, but I want to grab these two over here. And then you'll get this one over here. And if you're having, if you guys are having a hard time following this video right now, uh, like let me know, like in the comments or something, or come to my stream and just let me know, like your thoughts, because uh, I do want to improve. And there's one down here. All right. After that, you'll teleport back to the same teleporter.
come over here to this uh, cliff and glide across. Honestly, doing this is not so bad. I mean, every 72 hours, like spare like one hour out of your 72 hours to do this. It's like, it's, you know, it's actually worth. All right. Crystals here. Can you come over this way? Oh, no stamina. Okay. Come over this way to this green patch. I'm up this mountain here. There's also a puzzle over here too, if you guys didn't know. This puzzle's pretty easy. You see this patch right here? It draws a triangle, just like those three. Puzzle done. And you run over this way and there should be a cave. I hate these guys here, so I'm gonna kill them. There's some, uh, there's some ice slimes in here too, I think. Oh, no ice slimes? Interesting. There's usually ice slimes in here. All right, then you'll mine those. After you're done here, I like to go over to Nan Tiannen. Run over this way. Climb up. There's one right here. After that, what I like to do is I like to go, I like to save this area here for last. So what I do is I go up to the waterfall. The one with all the hogs around and the bamboo shoots. Good opportunity to farm some hogs too. This one always rams into you right when you teleport. So that's free meat. This one's also free meat. Oh, I missed it. All right, you climb up here. a few treasure hoarders up here too so if you, if you need to farm treasure hoarders all right two crystals here oh i love it when they give me three all right and then there's uh, four more over there all right after this Teleport straight down to the beach. Seven Eleven. Just uh, trying to uh, remember how much I started with. Actually, Seven Eleven. That's not hard to remember at all. Seven Eleven. Run over this way. There's one in here. And then sometimes there's like a little uh, companionship event that pops up over there. Didn't happen this time, but it happens pretty pretty often. Go back to the teleporter. And then you'll run this way. Watch out for Sonic Boy right there. Either. And then there's one right here. There's also a puzzle right in front of you if you haven't done that one yet. All right, after I get this, I open my map and I go through the portal like literally to like to the left of you. Turn around. There's something right here. Oh, and it's a daily spot. You can tell it's a daily spot by these, these uh, blue... Uh, blue magic crystal chunks and again you unlock those when uh you unlock your level two reputation that's when those get come unlocked and i don't know if i said this already but you don't need to talk to the blacksmith like every day unless you're unless you're da doing daily crystals but i do this route um multiple times a week on friends worlds as well 
for uh spare accounts so i uh that allows me to not have to do daily crystal runs and there's one right here right after this open your map up and you want to go to the noblesse domain to the left of you and you want to run over here come over to this cliff and just drop down There's two right here. Oh, get down, Zongli. Alright, after this, open up your map, go back to the same domain. And go the opposite direction. This is also a really good crystal fly spot. There's like four in there. And then if you run this way, which you need to. There's more over here. There's one right here. Oh, there's a big boy over there. Hopefully they don't see me. They don't. And then there's two right here. They can just grab them. Also a Whopper flower spot too. So if you ever need Whopper flowers, there's one right there. Okay. After this, I go to Mount Alzang. This is a pretty big spot too, so if you're ever lazy and don't really want to follow the route and you know your crystals are up after 72 hours, you can hit this one. Pretty major. The big boy in here though. Yep, there he is. Could be a big Sonic and a small Sonic in here. Yep, there they are. You know what? For the sake of this not being annoying, I'm going to kill them real quick. There's a small one. He dead? Oh, yes, small one's dead. Nice. And you just finish farming the crystals. one in this back corner too so don't miss it your core lap is in here too all right make sure you didn't miss any after this i like to go down to juyun karst right here One right here. Let's see if I can semi speed this up a little bit and make this video under one hour. All right, and then right behind here, go to this yellow bush, and there's one hidden right there. And then if you just follow this wall, I'm over here. There's one right here. It's a little tricky, but you'll you'll get it. And then I like to teleport back up. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna cross this bridge. Cross this bridge. And there's two over here. After this, I teleport over to this portal right here. And I love when I start this this area because I know I'm almost done. But this is also one of the most annoying areas. So you'll just climb up the, the mountain. Yeah. 
And there's one way up here. So if you're if you're doing this with friends, um, maybe wait till all your friends get to the top because they'll start rolling down. You want to face that mount over there because there's one over here. Or if you just want to spite your friends and troll them, you can just make them run for it. One right here. Okay, I'm not getting that. Yeah. And then there's one over here. Yeah. After that, you'll teleport back up. And you'll want to scale the side of this mountain. And head towards the tip of that one. You can kind of see the crystal right there peeking. Run over there. Walk a little. Let stamina build back up because you need to climb. Wait a little bit. Let stamina build up. There's one right here. After you get this one, face that big old mountain and start gliding over there. Head over here. You want to climb up this? Uh-oh, stamina. Climb, 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 climb again, and then you'll climb up here and there should be a crystal. Right here. Nice. So you'll get this one, right? Then what you'll do is you'll climb up even higher. And then you'll glide over to that one right there. After that, you'll want to face this puzzle and glide over there. It'll be over here to your right. You know, you just want to drop down. All right, now we're done with this area. Now we move on to the very last area, King Yun Peak. So I start here. And we go right here to the left. I don't know if it's the smartest thing to make my first video like over like almost an hour long. <laughs> People are going to think, damn, dude. Ain't nobody got time to sit here and listen to this man talk for an hour. Hit that one. Hit this one right here. And you'll just glide on over. Oh, look, a daily spot. All right, and after this, you'll run towards this barrel. To scale the mountain. There's one right here. And you continue to scale the mountain. There's one right here. 
Then you run through this campsite. Climb over here, climb over here, and go straight down. There's one right there. After this, you just want to teleport back up. And head towards, um, I don't know, this way. <laughs> There's no real identifying markers. I guess to the, to the left of that puzzle right there, you see on the right side. Oh, look, a daily spot. So sometimes these crystals are here and sometimes they're not. These are daily spots. So they're actually here this time around, but sometimes they're not. Come back here, don't roll off. The daily spots are never the same, by the way. They're never the same. I mean, no, okay, I won't say they're never the same, but they're... Uh, they can be random. All right. After this, I'm gonna go over here. Okay. Usually I get this one first before I climb up there, but uh, I didn't. So yeah, get this one. This one's always here. This one is always here. So usually after that one over there, I get this one and then I climb up and then I hit those up there. But uh, I kind of did it out of order. And then you run over here to this side. Get this crystal. Then you run over here. Keep running. Keep running. This one right there. Then you just scale this mountain. There should be one right here. After that, there should be one right there. Watch out for a floating eyeball, dude. Pretty freaking annoying. Please don't. You know what? I'm gonna just kill it. I missed. I missed. I missed. Wow. Okay, no one saw that. Then you climb up this mountain. Another daily spot. Interesting. Alright. I'm up some more. Get these guys. Alright. After you get these, right? You want to face this, uh... I don't know. If you look at your map, it's like a little windy road. What you want to do, you want to cross this windy road. And then there's crystals right here. My phone just went off. I don't know if you guys heard that. One right here. One right here. There's one right here. I just hit. All right. And then you want to glide over this way. Do this hut. Hit these. Didn't miss any, right? No, I don't think so. Alright, then you jump off and you scale this way. 
scale this mountainside. There's only two spots left. There's this one and then the last spot and then we're done. Get this guy. And then uh, you can do two things. You can teleport up to King Yun Peak and glide down to this one or you can just do what I'm doing. I'm just going to scale the side, run over here. And just glide. Just scale the side of this mountain. Then climb up. Right there. And again, if you want to spite your friends, you can break it before they get there and they'll, they'll like fall way down there. But yep, and uh, that's it. So let's see how much we got. I started at 711 and now I have 959. So I got 248, 248 crystals, uh, which is uh, above average. Usually I get around 220, 230. So 248, you can get as high as 260, 270. So um, yeah. But you'll always get a minimum of 200, assuming you have all your reputations unlocked. So, uh, yeah, uh, that's my uh, crystal route. Uh, video is at 56 minutes, so I kept this under an hour. That's great. Um, if you guys have any advice for me, uh, feel free to leave a comment uh, or come tell me in my stream. I stream every now and then uh, at twitch.tv slash brandflakes. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, if you stop by my stream, uh, from YouTube, uh, just let me know you're from YouTube. Cause that'd be cool. Uh, I actually want to see if posting videos on YouTube actually helps me gain viewers over there. Uh, anything else? Anything else? Mm, uh, nope. I think that's it. All right. Until next time, guys.